If you take the three highest electronegativities on the periodic table, fluorine, oxygen, nitrogen, really, and well, chlorine's pretty high too, but because it's not in period two of the periodic table, it doesn't really attract atoms very, very close to itself because it's got an electron cloud, as we say, or a bunch of orbitals that kind of get in the way of being able to take an atom and bring it really close to itself, its own nucleus. So N, O, and F, NOF. When you get those elements bonded to hydrogen, you got big electronegativity differences. What does that mean? It's not really just partially positive here and partially negative here. It's really partially positive and really partially uh, negative. And so, now look, it's not totally ionic or it's totally positive and negative, but it's so partially positive and negative that if you brought another HF to this one here, the intermolecular bond here not only is London dispersion force, and of course it's polar nonpolar, so you would say, well, that's a dipole dipole force, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. So you could say it's got dipole dipole force. But the dipole dipole force is so strong here that when nitrogen or oxygen or fluorine is bonded to hydrogen, the intermolecular bond here, or the really partially positive hydrogen here, bonding to the really partially positive or negative fluorine, gives you hydrogen bonding. Now, don't confuse this. Some students do, and don't. No, just listen. This H bonded to this F. That is not a hydrogen bond. That is not a hydrogen bond. A hydrogen bond is an intermolecular bond between a partially, really partially negative element like F, O, or N, and the hydrogen of another molecule. That's a hydrogen bond. And boy, is that ever a strong bond. Well, it's stronger than something that just has dipole, dipole, and uh, dipole, dipole, and LDF. Hydrogen bond is just an additional one there. So here's the thing. Water, it has hydrogen bonding. Not hydrogen bonding here, but when you take one water, water molecule and it attaches to another water molecule. That bond right there that keeps those two together, that's a hydrogen bond, which you could say has dipole, dipole, and LDF on it too. Water's boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius. If you actually substituted this group six element with, with sulfur, or SE, which is another group six element, they have boiling points that are much, much lower than 100. So when, if you graphed it and you looked at the boiling points, versus the number of protons and electrons. And by the way, sulfur has more protons and electrons than oxygen, and so does selenium, Se. You would think that their LDFs would be that much higher because they have more protons and electrons than waters, and that's true. But water has hydrogen bonding because of the difference in electronegativity between these two being so great. There's a force of attraction here that's huge. Not between these two hydrogens, of course, but between this hydrogen and this oxygen. So really, they need to kind of turn this molecule around. This O's got to be bonded, or, or at least attracted to that H, right? Okay. So that's the deal. Hydrogen bonding when you have an H attached to an N, O, N, O, or F, right? And pneumonia too. And see, here's the thing. A lot of people say, well, does this molecule, CH3F, have hydrogen bonding? And if you drew it, it would look like this. An F here, an H here, an H here, and an H here. The F is not attached to the H, so there's no great electronegativity difference between the two. So that molecule, even though you have H's and F's in it, does not have hydrogen bonding between molecules of like kind. That's not present. But in a molecule like CH3OH, which would be drawn like this, CH3 and then O and then an H attached, that sets up the ability of that molecule to be attracted to another one of its own kind and have hydrogen bonding because there's an O attached to the H. Hydrogen bonding, stronger than just a plain old dipole dipole and stronger than an LDF, even though LDF in and of itself as a pure force is really stronger than all of them. But if you've got hydrogen bonding, you also have dipole-dipole and LDF, and that puts you over the top, generally speaking.